Okay, in this video I will deploy Citrix Nest Scale VPX, sorry, VPX on ESXi server. All right, you can deploy Citrix Nest Scale VPX on your Hyper-V, on your ESXi, vSphere, uh, on Zen server. For testing, you can deploy in one workstation, VMware workstation. Normally, I think or typically you will be deploying in a server-based hypervisor. In my lab I will use VMware workstation though, but I will show you that how to deploy an scaler or ESXi. So for this I'm connected to my ESXi host which is 192.168.132. You may see this network is not on or was not on the lab topology correct because that's a different entirely different network that's just for managing ESXi so just ignore that it has nothing to do with the net scale of lab deploy. here on this ESXi I have configured some virtual networking which is related to net scale of course this card which is the default you know we have next zero connected to the management network. That's the management network for my virtual environment. And here I have two different virtual switches, and each one has one network interface. One called NetScaler Internal and one NetScaler External. NetScaler Internal will connect to 10.10.10 .10 network, and where all my other servers are, internal servers are, and NetScale external will connect to 172.16.21 network. Okay, so a cable from this physical NIC, which is represented here as VM NIC 1, will go to a switch that is connected to my internal network, which is 10.10.10 .10 .10 network. And cable from this network card, which is represented here as VMNIC2, will go to external switch. Okay, so let's get the NetScaler VPX. So we'll go to file, deploy the OBF template. Browse the location. I have here NetScaler ESXi. It's the OBF for 10.5. Next, let's kill a VPX, and I would like to give it a name NS1. Data store one is fine. For lab environment, I'll go for thin provision. This one, VM network, goes to internal. This goes to external. Just make sure that's how you do it. The first one internal, second one external. I would like to uh, internal network will be will also be the management network for my net scaler. I'll be managing Citrix net scaler from internal network, which will definitely make sense rather than managing over an external network. So my net scaler IP or NS IP will also be something that based on my internal network range, which is standard 10. Next and finish, and it is deploying it nice, quick, and easy. And here we go NS1. It's all set. So that's how you import your. And a uh, net skill, and all you have to do just fire it up. And let's say open the console. Default. And the very first thing your net scale will 
ask. It's the IP address that you want to assign. Which IP address? Netscaler IP address or NSIP. So, as per my diagram, I would like to give 10, 10, 10, 200 to this one. It's all going through the process. Okay, here it's asking for NetScaler IP4 address. So let's say 10, 10, 10, 200. Submit mask is 255.5.2550 and gateway. Okay. Mm, outside in my case, though I don't need a role, much role of a gateway here, I have just one internal network and one external network. So let me give, for example, this one. Change it like that. Alright, now I want to save and quit. Number four, and that's it. It will reboot, and after that, it will be ready to go. And then I will be able to connect to the web interface using the IP 10.10.10.200. .10 .10 so let me pause this video and I will get back. Okay, NetScaler has rebooted and I'm on the login prompt. Now I have an option, of course. I want to, if I want to do further configuration. All I have to do is just go open a browser and go to 10, 10, 10, um, uh, 200, which was the IP which I have assigned to it. There is one more thing that though I would like to mention. If you want to log in through this log, uh, through this command line or through the web interface, the default username and password is nsroot. Okay, and you can see if you want to go for shell, and it can give you a shell where you can do different commands and all that, and it can show you the status and everything. Like uh, it have, I have, I'll just check the interface call, call for example. So this is it, guys. Now in the next step, I will use the, or in the next video, I will use the GUI or web-based interface, connect to that scaler, and it will do further configurations. So thank you. See you in the next video. Cheers.